Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to the Awakening 126. I hope you're having an interesting <laughs> ascension as mine is a roller coaster, like the show PF that I did. Love conquers all. Love conquers all. So, um, what do I want to talk about today? A couple of things. Today, I want to talk about um, what you're here to do and you're going to come across situations, people, and um, like I am, which are, they'll do everything to stop you doing your job. And I think that's what happened yesterday at 4 a.m. in the morning when the boys in blue came to visit again. I've got to keep a low profile and not say too much, but I've now got a solicitor. And if anyone is reporting or doing something they shouldn't be doing, um, they will be caught. OK, so it's all in hand. And thank you so much to my beautiful Starseed family that have been there me, um, have been there for me before I am in the morning and others and um, calming me when they were flashing their torches on my house, <laughs> like I'm some kind of, I don't know what, and having a go at me um, about, um, sorry, just trying to get rid of all these, oh, I don't know. Trying to get rid of all these messages, they're just annoying me. Yeah, flashing torches, 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we've come to see you. Somebody said that you're going, you're, you're unhappy because you're singing. Okay, <laughs> how does that compute? I sing because I'm unhappy or I sing because I love it, because it's my life, because it's my dream. And I was having a beautiful chat on there with Sa Sam and Trey Olds, who I haven't spoken to for ages. So everybody or anyone who is trying to mess with this spirit is going to get a big shock because this spirit isn't going anywhere this spirit is stronger than ever the body's shaking like a leaf like a little two-year-old or a little seven-year-old or a little child in fight and flight but the love is coming through and you need to know that them um, i hope to interview um the solicitor because they're so kind they're abiding by the common law and the Magna Carta, and it's very exciting. And so I am very protected and so are you. Okay, so that's one thing um, I wanted to talk to you. I'd like to know about your, how's your ascension going? Because mine is insane, absolutely insane roller coaster, and the ego is everywhere. And it's, it's not easy, guys, it's not easy. So I've been a lot of crying today again, a lot of bringing stuff up. Um, been looked after like royalty today and I'm very very grateful so thank you for that really really grateful thanks um, <clears throat> those who can't be here in person will be you know they're there they're there on the phone they're there on messenger I know you're there some of you others you know whatever I'm not really bothered anymore I'm happy being here on my own but I'm not happy with them banging on my window at 4 a.m in the morning with shining torches trying to get into my house and that's got, going to end now because as I say, I've got a solicitor. Anyway, so I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about interesting things to do with language and how we are tribal and how I think I woke up this morning and I felt a lot of the songs I've written, are, you've got Touch Me Baby, you've got Someone Touch Me Too Deeply um, what was about something to do with touch, touch? And I was looking at language and I was looking at the words in Hebrew to hug is lechabek, lechabek, lechabek. It's hug to hug someone. Chibuk is a hug. Lechabek is to hug. And do you know what it, in Arabic is anabechabek means I love you. Do you see? The, the connection here, lechabek, and ana bechabek in Arabic is I love you. Ana bechabek means I love you, and lechabek means to hug. Hug is love, touching, hugging. We need to be touched, hugged, held. And I think that's one of the things that this body, the ascension and this body is screaming to be touched, to held, to be hugged. The body, the body, as I said, the ego and the body, not the spirit and I am the opposite to Anna Brown so I'm giving you everything um, before you get to the level she's got to 
as we go through the roller coaster of ascension. Now, the other thing I was thinking about is when you say um, um, machinery, uh, when you say artillery that kills people, it's Neshek, Neshek. And to kiss is Neshika, Neshika. Isn't that interesting? To kiss someone, and artillery has the same word nearly in Hebrew, Neshek and Neshika like a positive take on artillery. And I found, I found more than that. I found another one. Um, um, to touch is lingoa or nagua, means it's someone who's touched, yeah? A nagua. And it also means someone contaminated. Isn't that interesting? So they're like this language, they took words and they're saying the same word, like, Nagua is contaminated and Nagua is touched. And yet to be touched is part of your human right, being hugged, touched. You know, language is words. It's really interesting. Really interesting. I'll be thinking of words in Hebrew. Ahava. Ahava is love. Love. Not love. Love. Love, we're supposed to say love, not love, love, love. Ahava, like ah, Rama, Buddha, Adonai, Allah, ah, love, ahava. When Dyer talks about that, but then I notice ahava in Hebrew means love. So we're meant to say love, I love you. Not I love you, I love you. Open vows. Open vows open the heart. And my heart is a chakra opened a lot today because of all the fear that came up with that, that lot turning up at 4 a.m. in the morning. My heart chakra opened and I can sing better. But I'm not going to sing tonight. I'm not going to tempt anyone. And if you think that I'm going to go on moving on TV tonight and you think you're going to be able to report me, whoever it is that's doing this, well, they've got your details now. Um, who I, I don't know who you are, but they will be looking into it. They've got the nasty call phone number details because I've still got that one. And they will be looking into it, whoever is stalking me. I and mean, it's someone on my social media, someone on my social media who is watching, and but it's opening my heart chakra, okay? And if you're innocent, then no one will come near you. If you're not, then karma, you'll get what's coming to you. You cannot stalk another human being like that and, and bring the police around every five minutes to destroy my life because it's in hand now, okay? We have the Magna Carta. And, and so that's it. It's out of my hands. I've handed it over to a higher power. And that's another thing. You need to do that. There are things that happen in your life. I'm just noticing what I'm wearing today. And when I was wearing it with this hat, I'm going to swap my hat over. Someone said to me, you look like a teddy bear. <laughs> I look like a teddy bear. Do I look like a teddy bear? All cuddled up as a teddy bear. Because quite honestly, that's what I was feeling for him this morning. It was very scary. And whoever is reporting to the police that I'm singing, get a life. For God's sake, get a life. Sort yourself out because karma is coming to you and it's going to be big. OK, whoever it is. And I know it's not the neighbors because they're not even here. And I didn't use a microphone. So it's something to do with my social media. I know because that's when they turn up. OK, sorry. You see, I'm protecting myself here. Um, so coming back to languages, other words in, in Hebrew that I was thinking about. Uh, um, let me think. They're like you've got salam. In Arabic, shanti, well, shanti, salam, shalom, that's a close word. But then when Dar explains, you do the shalom, 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 okay? And of course, the word peace, peace, it's not... Um, an open vowel, peace, it's quite closed, peace. English, words in English are not open. 
Italian is very open. Amore mio, amia, uh, italiana, italiano, italian. It's very open, vowels, very open. And when you sing opera, <clears throat> if you sing opera, which is still five o'clock, I can sing whatever. Uh, if I can't, then, then we're in trouble. So, for example, if you sing something like, um, it's got to be very open Italian song. Oh, mio babino caro. Oh, mio babino caro. Me so It's all very open. That's when the heart chakra opens and opens. So that's all the singing I'm doing today, <clears throat> coming back to the ascension. So I felt the need to come on here and talk about the roller coaster of ascension. So you're all going through it the next couple of weeks until things are sorted. And you know what I mean, without me having to say it in America, um, everything's coming up to be sorted. And the next couple of weeks are a roller coaster of emotions for all of us. Anyone who's doing this work will be attacked and targeted, but we have protection. And um, lot of protection, whether you're right or wrong. I was okay, guys. My job is to pass on the information. And so if you're going through any, <coughs> excuse me, you need to contact Green and Black or you need to go straight to the solicitors, okay? The solicitors are taking care of anyone who's been stalked or um, um, targeted by that lot. <coughs> um, Richard Parry, Saunders Solicitors, and it's 0203 131 9710. 0203 131 9710. And if you're being targeted by the ad lot, you can go on next poll. Okay, I'm not gonna to say too much, but I hope to interview the solicitors to say that they're here for you. So you understand. <coughs> if um, they start to turn up at your doorstep trying to get in because you are doing what we're doing, you're humanitarians and you're doing your work and you're doing no one, no harm to anyone. Cloud Kukuland accusations um, that are not true and you're just trying to breathe, those are the numbers, I'll tell you again. You've got Richard Parry, 0203-131-9710, and net poll. I'll put it on the end of this program as well. If you're being stalked, um, if you're being targeted, if you're getting bots calls saying that you're committing crimes in America, this is targeting. If you feel sick, if you have panic attacks, at night, this is targeting. You need to be protected, but these guys will protect you against you know who are turning up at my house at 4 a.m. in the morning now because I was singing on YouTube, okay? And I was singing quietly and the neighbors are not even here. So it's not the neighbors. I know it's not the neighbors. It's to do with my social media, okay? And so all the phone numbers and um, anyone who called me at the beginning of this lockdown and threatened me, the nasty calls, I have the numbers and, and I've given the number that uh, I had because they didn't block it, that 078 something, which I put on here um, a lot to find out who this person was calling me a fake mad bitch. They've got that now and they will be taking care of it with the, the others who are coming here at all hours. If you're innocent, you've got nothing to worry about. Um, but if you're trying to steer me away from the job I'm doing, that's not going to happen. Because tomorrow, I've got life. I've got life. It's going live. And it's going live from 3 p.m. We've got Jules, who created his own radio station, Bath Radio, at 3 o'clock, uh, streaming with him. We have got 5 o'clock. We've got Robert Least, who's going out there to get carol singing going in London and all over the place. I need to find out as much as possible about that, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we've got Natasha. Natasha Gray is going to dance, and that's going to be interesting. I'm going to stream that. 
Um, we've got Anne Sarah coming on to sing Not All Alone, Remaining Broken Hearted. And Sunday, either Saturday or Sunday, then Sunday we go live at five o'clock. And we've got Whitney, a singer called Whitney. And I'm not sure who else we got, but it's nice. We're getting people. And of course, I will be playing Luke's beautiful music, Luke Barrett's beautiful music, and doing a bit of singing, of course, um, because it's early enough. And we will finish at eight o'clock. Okay, we'll finish at eight o'clock on Saturday, and we finish at a quarter of eight on Sunday. So there's no excuses for anybody to get upset that I'm singing loud. But you know what? Before, um, about four months ago, I was sitting there playing Will You on the piano. Funny enough, I was singing Will You last night. Maybe it's Hazel O'Connor that's stalking me. Oh my God. You know what? I feel like singing Will You. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Twice, I, they turned up twice when I was singing Will You. Maybe that's the song. I'm not allowed to sing that song or something. Okay. Is it something that you waited for, waited for to take off your eyes, bear your soul, gather me to you and make me whole, tell me your secrets, give me a song, sing it to me in the twilight dawn. wonder if you stay now, stay now, stay now. Oh, will you just politely say This moment I've waited for a long, long 
sun makes me quiver, makes me shiver. This moment I have waited for, this moment I have craved for. Is it something that you've waited for, waited for too? Take off your eyes, bear your soul, gather me to you and make me whole. Hear me your secrets, give me your song, give it to me in the twilight zone. It's getting kind of late now. I wonder if you stay now, stay now, stay now. Oh, will you just politely say goodnight? Will you just politely say goodnight? We got there in the end. The voice is waking up now because a lot of crying, a lot of heart chakra opening. So there you go, the ascension, a roller coaster of emotions. And the problem is once I start singing, I don't want to stop. <laughs> Are you going to report me to the singing police? Apparently there's a singing police now. And twice since I sang, will you? There they were banging on the window to see if I'm okay. <laughs> so it must be you, Hazel. I tried to get Hazel on, Hazel O'Connor, to interview her. You've got to put a bit of comedy into this. Someone said this was their favorite song. This is for you, Nigel. Somewhere over the rainbow, way above, there is a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. That was for you, Nigel, Nigel Floyd. I know you love that song. I'm not going to sing too much because I'm tired and you never know, they might be banging on my window to find out why I'm singing. Believe it or not, yeah, yeah. A few times now. Interesting, eh? 
somebody doesn't like my singing, then just tell me. But don't call the boys in blue or the girls in blue or whatever with their little nappies on their faces trying to break into my house. I love you guys. I'm going to do a free goal setting course now on the meetups. Yes, there's loads of stuff out there, guys. Come and board me on TV. I shall see you tomorrow. Beautiful tomorrow. We've got beautiful, beautiful, as I say, great people coming on the whole weekend. Keep looking out the window. See if there's a car. Trying to, you never know. I've been singing. <laughs> that seems to be a red flag to rule around here, apparently. Freedom, liberty. Freedom is another word for nothing left to lose. Right? Liberty. I love you. Namaste. And I hope you're having an easier ascension than I am. Bye.